Hey guys and girls, well, it's another week um, because we had to get some more stuff delivered. Get my gloves. And uh, yeah, we decided to fill it up with a bit more hardcore because, uh, well, we, uh, we needed to. Um, we figured out we wouldn't have enough even with another ton. So we've, uh, yeah, we filled it up with some more stuff. Um, Leveling off was a bit of a pain because obviously we've got such a big steep gradient here. But it's, it's coming along. Okay guys and girls, uh, as you can see we're almost there. We have got to increase the height of the shutter on this side a bit. But uh, that's alright, we've got some wood here to do it with. Right, let's just make it another load. You can just see how much our garden slopes. I mean this doesn't slope that much here. But uh, you can just see how much it slopes about the height we've had to make it look. That's quite a bit of height on that. Um, this is a good downhill we've got. I mean, I remember bloody... We used to have a little lawnmower, one of them sit-on lawnmowers. And eventually, it just got to the point where it wasn't you know, really any useful. It used to drive, but it used to constantly eat up blades and the pulleys were worn out. So... My dad gave it to us, you know, m m well, me to play with, because back then we really were, were only a baby. And I remember uh, we used to start off right at the top, and you know, that was before the garage was there, so the garden was quite wide. Uh, none of this wall was, um, you know, was built. Uh, so the garden was quite wide. You know, all the trees and stuff were a lot smaller back then. And um, we used to start to walk up there, you know, we used to make it go along. And we used to get to about here, we used to kick it into neutral because obviously the engine used to break. We'd kick it into neutral and when we got down, down to the bottom we used to have a tree down there. We used to step the back end out around the tree, you know. Brilliant. That was the fun. And I really miss how the garden used to be. It was, um, we used to have trees and we used to have a little orchard down there. there used to be apple trees down there, plum trees, damson trees, pear trees. They were lovely. But now we've uh, we got rid of it all now, which is such a, such a shame, really. But, um, yeah, oh well. It happens, I suppose. Like I say, shuttering, that's all I've got to do now, which should be nice and easy. And uh, we'll just fit it in as best as we can. That should be it, the base should then be done. So, good stuff. Oh, guys and girls, bit of a disaster. Not much though, that's gonna stop us. But the old, uh, the pulley <laughs> has come loose on the, uh, on the motor. <laughs> we have got quite a full load in there, as been you can see. Seriously overloaded a few times. Seriously overloaded, so the old pulley's a bit, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's always the last bit you're going to do, and it's, it goes there, so... I've brought my Imperial set of, um... Of, well, it's Metrica Imperial. Of course, this old Compton motor's probably 19 bloody 60s. It's got no date, date, no date on it, but it's, it's bloody old. So, uh... <laughs> It's good though. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't struggle, the belt. It's actually got a, a serial number on it. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I want to return this. Yeah, yeah. It's got a fold. What does it say? It says 8241. Yeah. There we go. Oh no, 3. 3241. Oh no, 324L. Three, hey, that's the serial number. 324L. Don't turn it! I need to get it lined up again. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this done. 
Well, guys and girls, it is done. Oh, Mum wants to do bloody mowing. Ugh. Yeah, go on, Mum. So, I'm uh, I'm I'm quite impressed with um. Yeah, we've uh, we turned the RPMs up on that mower a little bit. Cause it was stalling out a lot. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we put the names in it and the date, so whoever has, to, has the um, unfortunate um, task of breaking, it of breaking it up, yeah, we hope to God it's not going to be us. Reinforced concrete with that fibre stuff. Full of steel, it's got slightly too much cement in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. That fibre stuff works really well. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Smooth it out. Ow! I'm shooting stuff at me with a bloody mower now. Oh, damn it, she's lethal with that thing. It just plunges it into stuff. All right, buddy, man. Anyway, that should be it, guys and girls. Um, stay tuned for the next bit of a video where we will be, hopefully, having the shed go up. Which is, uh, I think it's on the 20th, isn't it, that? Yeah. Or is it? It's the 16th today, so... It's Thursday. Aye. Right. So, by then this will be hard enough to obviously go on. The uh, stuff over there was hard enough to stand on pretty much the next morning, wasn't it? Yeah. Because um, I went over it and just uh, rubbed it down a bit with my foot. You know, all, all the lumps and bumps. And it sort of just top, took, took the bit off it. But anyway. We just got tidying up to do now. I've took all the spades and stuff down there already. Got the old, uh, the old mixer. It's done us good again. No, we still got, um, yeah, that could do it coming out, that's all going to set in the bottom there. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to take it down there somewhere and actually run the O's in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Good little mixer. We just need to do some repair work on it, I think, next time we use it. Or in the time where it's not going to be used, we need to take this pulley off. So I bet we've done it no favours. Look at that, look. It's just horrendous play. I can't actually show you just how good the play is on that. If I put the camera there... Yeah. Wow, is that where it's actually worn through? Jeez. That is impressive. It just shows. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, that should be it for now guys and girls. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.